we'd enjoy watching them move the piano. Heavy, heavy piano. Moving the table. Moving day. Taking all the heavy things while we have Dad and Jaden here to help. Come here. Come here. That's, that's where they're going to put the piano. So not only are we building a house, but we have to move out our renter by this Friday. Today is Wednesday. So we're trying to get everything out. Yesterday we took all the heavy things out, like the piano, the couch, um, the washer and dryer, the, um, what was it, the elliptical, all the heavy things. Here we are, another big load today. Didn't get video yesterday, it was all the heavy one that we took up. Well, they finally came and put this, whatever, power, hook up the power. So we just need to get the inspector to come and inspect and pass it, and then we'll we have brought some. another load. Um, just now we just got here. Yesterday we brought a big load, all the heavy things, thanks to Jaden and Rick's dad helped out yesterday. It's time to close this up. We're just filling dirt in this trench. We have to put this tape along there. Alright, it's time to move again. We got uh, pretty much everything out. Rick's just cleaning, blowing out. Just the mattress waiting to get on the truck. And we've pretty much been cleaning up all day the last few days thanks to Sunny come clean all the windows in and out pretty much thanks to Melinda she came over today for six hours to help clean up and vacuum and clean the carpet and all that so I'm not gonna go any further than this because we got the carpet clean and the outside backyard looks fabulous. All right, I'm gonna miss this place even though we're only here for a year. <laughs> Can you ex So, fill it up with, uh-huh. And that's the, that's a tape. Oh, tape with them. Mm. So cool. <laughs> yeah. It's fast, huh? Awesome. Pretty cool. So that's called mud, tape and mud, mud, tape and mud, tape and mud. for now. And then, so they do the seam first and then they do the corner or the ceiling. Do they dry pretty fast though? Dry pretty fast? Propane tank 
guy. He's just got here this morning. He's installing the propane. So yeah, we got propane I now. I guess it needs to come loose so they can put something underneath. Anyway, they've been here this morning. Do something. So yeah, at least they start on something. We've been waiting for a while. They can't have any more excuses because all the materials and everything's are been delivered and have been sitting here for a while. So we have one guy does the wrapping, whatever it is. Another guy got the foam out and he is doing something. Okay, so here it is. The guy's putting the white foam around after this guy right here is putting the black something on it. <clears throat> so look at that. That's kind of cool. They're going to wrap it all around the house and then they, from what I've heard, they're, after that then they put wires, chicken wires, all around. That guy been on the phone for a long time. Oh no, don't ruin my deck. So it is Tuesday and I have been sick since Sunday and Monday so I haven't gone anywhere. Anyway, I'm just sitting in the trailer and watching everything going on around. So I'm just videoing from the window of my trailer. I'm still setting up that s whatever you call it. <laughs> Goodness, goodness. Hope they don't ruin my deck. He's trying to set it up and it's windy outside. Crab. Okay, wind, stop. still bringing things up and then you have that guy over there 
is going around and trim the foam off. Yep. Make it nice and neat. And then you got that little guy up there still setting up. <clears throat> Whatever he's doing, it's taking him a long time. <laughs> Careful, dude. It's windy outside. Gosh. Oh my heck, are you serious? Look at that. It's like three layers. It makes me nervous in a windy day like this. The two guys that were here this morning, probably hungry, it's lunchtime. They went to pick apples. I should feed them lunch, but I don't want to be out there with strangers. Hey, that's your lunch, apples. You can have a- Well, hello friends, it's been a while. They have not done a whole lot at a house. They come and go. The roofer came and put shingles on and then they didn't complete. They didn't have their drippage. So they haven't been back for almost two weeks. And then the, um, the dry sheet came and they did dry sheet. They complete, but then they came back like a week later and then they worked on um, the, uh, what is that, tape and mud, and then the stocker, stocker has been waiting for uh, materials to be delivered, and it's been, it's been like t over two weeks, two and a half weeks, three weeks, and they finally got everything delivered this last week, I believe Friday or so, and so this morning they showed up and set all these up and then they came and did um, put the black plastic up or something and then they put the white foam on top of it the guys that came the two guys that came earlier he um, came and set these up for a couple hours and then they all left so they probably went to lunch I believe and then yesterday, a guy came and delivered this propane tank. So it's here. And Rick had to dig another trench here so he could hook up the, the line, the propane line to go through. So anyway, um... We were supposed to start painting today because the guy told um, Rick that they're gonna be complete by yesterday, but no one showed up. They came Saturday for a little bit and then they left. So, not done, not cool. So there's the roof guy came and left left the ropes hanging on both sides of the house and haven't been back since. Frustrating when people don't do what they said. I'm not happy. This is what the front looked like. Hopefully they come back. Hopefully they only go and grab lunch. It doesn't seem like they have done that much. So they did the side and the back, but the front 
We wrote something down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This one we wrote down what we wanted. Stucco or not. So these are the stucco guys. Materials that have been delivered and been sitting here for since last week. And they pretty much have everything. They just need to be here and get to work. So there's a lot of foams to go around the house. Oopsie. Here's cement. Let's go inside and see what they've got done so far, which not so much. They came and tape and mud a little bit here and there. Well, pretty much. I think they just need to come back and finish sanding and then put the corners on all over so it could be done. And then that's when we come in and do prep for painting and do a painting. All right, we'll see what's gonna happen and what it takes to get them over here. In the meantime, thank you for watching and please like, like and subscribe my channel and I will um, update you some more videos to come. Thank you.